Good morning, Smarties, and happy Tuesday. I am here with your writing lesson for today. I figured we could take a break from our informational writing that we've been working on and do a story starter. Okay, I like these. These are fun because they're creative and they get you um, using your imagination. Uh, so I picked two. Uh, and you can pick which one you want to write about. Now remember, these are story starters, not sentence starters. So it's I don't want just an answer with a sentence. I would like you to create a story out of it. So our first one, under my pillow, I found. Under my pillow, I found. What did you find? Maybe a magical wand, and then what did you do with it? What could that magical wand do? And then after you maybe turned someone into something, what happened? So it's creating a story out of it, not just under my pillow, I found a magical wand, okay, period. No, you need to ex expand off of that, okay? Yes, that's maybe what you found, but then what could that wand do? What did you do with it? Um, did you do something with it and then you instantly regretted that? Meaning you instantly were like, no, I didn't want to do that because, you know, you turned someone into a frog. I don't know. So be creative with it. Use your imagination. If you don't want to do this one, then you can do this one. If I were as small as a mouse, I would. Okay. If I were as small as a mouse, I would. What would you do? If you were as small as a mouse, what would you do? Would you go on a grand adventure? Would you uh, hide because you were scared? Um, what would you do if you were as small as a mouse? Maybe there's some uh, a secret hiding place that you really want to explore and get into and see what's in there, but you can't fit because you're too big. So if you got the chance to be as small as a mouse, what would you do? Again, not just I would explore a secret hiding place. Okay, yes, that's the start of it, but then what would you find? Would you find something and get in trouble? Would you encounter a problem? Maybe a cat crossed your path and now you had to figure out where to hide? Um, so creating a problem out of it with that beginning, that middle, and that end. This is the beginning, okay? And remember, you can start your story off with this. This is how you're going to start your story off, okay? Then... Excuse me. Then you have your middle. Your middle is like your chunk of like, what did you do? What did you encounter? Or what did you do with that thing you found under your pillow? And then the pro there's usually a problem in the story. Thinking about or someone wanted, but so then. Okay, a problem. And then the end, so you have your beginning, how your story started, right here. Then you have your middle, what happened. I kind of like think of it like a, a, a hamburger, okay? You have your bun on top. This is the beginning, the middle, and all the goods, okay? The hamburger, the cheese, the lettuce, the pickles, whatever you like on your cheeseburger or your hamburger, okay? That's in the middle. That's usually the problem in the story. And then the solution, the other bun on the bottom, okay, is the solution. How did your story end? How did... Did you solve the problem? Um, how did your story end is going to be the ending. So beginning, middle, and end. Um, think of it that way when you are creating your story. Okay, so if you want to pause it, you can pause it and pick which one. And remember, copy that down and then start your story off with it. So beginning, middle, and end, I'm thinking about mm, anywhere from five to ten sentences if you're... Um, using your time wisely in writing. So set the timer for 10 to 15 minutes um, and have fun with it. Be creative. If n either of these, neither of these strike your fancy and you don't want to write about either of these, then you can always write about what you did um, over Easter weekend. Maybe you did something special with your family. Um, we got to share yesterday a little bit about um, what you did over a morning meeting. It doesn't have to be just Easter weekend or eat on Easter. It can be what you did over the weekend with your family. So maybe you want to write a story about that. You can do that as well. So you have three options for writing. You can pick one of these or you can write what you did about what you did over the weekend. 
Um, so those are your choices for writing. Um, please do not, do not forget cups. Okay, C, capital letters, U, usage, getting your nouns and your verbs and your adjectives. Get those juicy words in there. Make it interesting. P, punctuation, S, spelling, spaces, say as you write. Super, super important. So that is your writing for today. Just a fun, creative writing today. Um, tomorrow we'll get back into our informational pieces uh, that we were working on. And I will be back in a little bit with your reading and your math for today. Um, we will do science on Mondays and Wednesdays. And then we take a break from science on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, and I have some STEM or projects for you um, that you can do on those days. So, or if you didn't do science yesterday, you can always do science today since we started our space unit. Yay! Um, but have fun with your creative writing for today, and I'll be back in a little bit with your reading and your math. Bye for now, Smarties!